you uh, use at the red auto wire so that uh, we can uh, like uh, we, if you we, we want to communicate with the service like uh, we have a, a payment service IMPL. so the interface uh, i can auto wire and then um, okay so why why do you auto wire the interface why cannot you uh, directly auto wire the IMPL file won't that work it will work, but we have an interface in between now. I mean, so, uh, Let's suppose instead of interface, I am having an abstract class. Mm -hmm. So uh, abstract class has one method, which, mm -hmm. is, which is not having the definition. Mm -hmm. And that is provided by the IMPL file. Mm -hmm. OK. Now I am auto-wiring the abstract class. So will the code function say? Suppose, let's suppose you have interface, right? In interface, you have methods only, which are not having definition. And when you are implementing that interface, then you are giving a definition. Okay. Right. And you auto wire by interface name, right? right? So I am having abstract class. I am extending that class in IMPL file. I am giving the definition of that method there. Now I am auto wiring the abstract class what is the difference between both you you do not create interface object right but you are auto wiring interface right i i i am auto wiring abstract class what is the difference possible is it something different than what you are doing with interface actually this is the class if you uh... For interface, you have implementation class, right? Then also you will do a new. And for abstract, also you are having the other class. Then also you need to do new. Yeah. Use abstract class normally in the project. What are the use cases where you use abstract class? So uh, where you feel that abstract class can be used and not the interface. So suppose you. So, in your project, which design patterns are used? So, we have used the uh, builder design pattern and uh, uh, and circuit breaker is implemented everywhere uh, where it is needed. So builder. Okay. So can you can you explain me uh, circuit breaker? So uh, the circuit breaker is uh, uh, we have used a resilience project for the circuit breaker, breaker circuit pattern so uh, we have uh, we have used uh, like uh, suppose any any method we are calling um, means we, we have a uh, controller if, if it is not uh, uh, getting response uh, if, uh, if we are calling any method and it is not getting response then we are using a direct circuit breaker and uh, uh, callback method uh, name so like uh, uh, the method name M1. So if, if uh, that uh, that microservice response is not coming, uh, then uh, we respond through the uh, fallback mechanism method, like the, uh, by default uh, default method, some uh, default method we have created. And uh, then uh, uh, once uh, I mean, suppose uh, we have a hundred requests pass out and uh, we are not getting response, then circuit uh, breaker is going to the open state. And then uh, if uh, uh, okay, so let's suppose, let's suppose in production you get some problem, right? Some uh, some issue you get. So how do you start the debugging? So uh, in the log, uh, in the API gateway, we have a logger. And uh, uh, in the log, everything is uh, uh, printed. Like uh, um, uh, through the log, we can uh, uh, go, go through the each of the, uh, suppose we have a, 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 we have in the API gateway, we have a method. Uh, we are going into the movie service. Then, uh, suppose in the loyalty service, we are getting some error. So, in the log, we are uh, we can see that th this loyalty services uh, is not responding. So, uh, we check the logger uh, uh, that which method is giving response uh, exception. Like uh, we have a uh, exception printed on the uh, on in, inside the method. So, uh, we check the log that this method is giving exception. Then, we we'll check the, that uh, uh, what should be uh, this the resolution of the particular thing. So we'll uh, we resolve. Uh, okay, so uh, so where are the logs? I mean, how uh, where's the logs printed in your application? Actually, how do you check the logs? 
actually they box guys they are they, uh, they they are given uh, but in in the system uh, we have a logger dot um, xml file uh, they are given the path where, where we need to print the logger and then uh, in, uh, in, the, in the particular file like um, the tomcat 11 slash path name and then in that uh, file uh, we are uh, we are getting log is getting printed and then we are uh, that part that part we can check um like cat command using cat command uh, we are giving booking id and uh, in each of the request uh when we are printing any logger like uh, through the booking journey we are putting booking id as okay. a reference so the journey we are putting the card id as a reference so, so what is the difference between uh logger one and uh fatal and info have you used different logging levels logger dot debug debug and logger logger dot error and logger dot oh, no. uh, okay so uh, have you heard yeah. about logger fatal fatal logger one no i have you used this thing practically i i have okay. used logger dot debug logger dot dot info logger dot error three things in case of the exception we are using logger dot error in case of debugging, suppose uh, some debugging needs to do. So uh, there we are printing, uh, using logger.debug. And uh, in case of some information need to print, then we are using logger.info. OK. So uh, have you worked with JUnits? Uh, in the previous project, I have used, and not in the current project, in the previous company, I have used the unit for the unit testing purpose. Uh, so uh, we, we are using Mopito, uh, and uh, we write some, uh, for some controller and services. For the services, we have used uh, um, some part of the coding we need to test that uh, whether it is working fine or not. So for that, we have created the object, and based on, uh, okay. based on the so method, have uh, what do you understand by inject mocks? Sorry, inject mocks. What do you understand so, by inject mocks? Yeah, so you the mock is uh, for so uh, have you used pi? Have you used pi ever? SPY pi pi ever? No, okay. So, have you used Java 8? Okay, so uh, tell me one thing. Let's suppose that we have a list of uh, things, right? Mm. And uh, I need to convert the first letter of every string to uppercase. Okay. And show back the result. So what is the one-liner which, which I can do? Uh, I have a list of employees. Yeah. And each employee is having attribute called a salary. Okay. Yeah. I need to total the salary of all the employees. Yeah. What I need so, to do? E e okay. So can you throw a custom can you throw a custom checked exception in the project? Have you have you worked with custom checked exceptions? Yes, I in the not in the current project. Uh, in the previous project, I have worked on the custom checked exception. So, uh, so uh, yeah. what is the process of throwing a custom checked exception and uh, what is the process of throwing a custom unchecked exception? So uh, first like a new uh, return, uh, new check, uh, new custom exception and then pass out through the message and uh, in the controller device we have a method like a direct exception handler and then um, uh, then inside that we, we have a logger where we, uh, we have print uh, in the uh, print globally that uh, uh, and the exception which uh, a message which has passed through uh, on the uh, method level so that will be printed inside the log okay so have you used gms 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 no gms i do have you used active mqs Oh, okay. Have you used multi-threading? Uh, I know about that, but 
uh, string is doing uh, from uh, from the I mean, so there is no use uh, in the current project, but I I know how it is work and how uh, interface uh, means multi threading is work. But okay, so have you worked with Jenkins? Have you created the pipelines? Uh, Jen Jenkins, uh, we in the uh, in the one year ago we have worked on that, and uh, currently also we are working on the Jenkins. Uh, uh, means for deployment uh, on the dev and uh, demo server. So uh, in that uh, 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 one is, uh, one way is using circle CI, uh, where circle CI dot YML is available and uh, Bitbucket is giving the services for the directly uh, deploy using circle CI. And also uh, we have, we have worked on the Jenkins also, but actually the part is of the uh, creating uh, these things is of the DevOps guys. So that they okay. work, who is working on that. So have you created? I mean, created database procedures, stored procedures table. Come again. Have you created database stored procedures tables? Yeah, I've created database stored procedures. I will not work on, but in the creating table, uh, it will be created automatically by Java classes. So uh, we don't need to do. Uh, um, um, uh, manual creation of the table. We only need to uh, um, add a direct class in the uh, Java uh, file. It will be automatically created. Some constraint you can also use in, in the Java uh, side. If uh, some uh, constraint is uh, we need to create it man manually, then we can create it using query. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So I am done with my things. Do you want to ask something? So uh, you are adding for any specific domain or uh, uh, no, no, it is not related to any any domain. It is related to technology only. So uh, domain like uh, I mean, it just matters for the technology stand, the way that you have worked and the way of the things which you have worked on. So that matters. So uh, that is related to the uh, all the new stacks uh, related to microservice architecture. Any any feedback for me for like uh, improvement on anything it depends. Uh, no, I think I'm fine with it till now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Yeah.